Alright, so hey there guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix a recent issue I've been facing and how to, how to like uh, permanently fix this issue. The issue is regarding the Windows 10 where it's not able to show your devices that are connected to your network or the devices that you've shared over your network so you can get remote access to them or you can get um, file access to that computer. Um, so without further ado, let's begin. First of all, what you want to do is uh, navigate to your keyboard and click Windows and the R key. And then you want to type in services.msc. Once you're done with that, you want to click on OK. And it's going to come up with this, um, with this software that shows you inbuilt software of Windows that shows you all the services that are currently running on your PC. Most of them are to do with um, the standard inbuilt processes and also the other ones that are installed. So what you want to do is switch to the standard view for now and let's start from A and we're going to be looking for function discovery. So we keep going down until you see function discovery provider host and function descri uh, discovery resource publication. The function, the job of these two functions is that it shows your PC on the network or it will show you the other PC that is running on the network. So without this, you can't really see those computers showing up in your network. Sometimes these can be set to, by default, I think they will be set to manual or disabled. What you want to do is set them to automatic and click on the start button. For me, I've already done it, so I don't have to do it again, but you have to have the start option as well. Click on the start button, click apply, press OK. Then we want to go to the next one as well. Do the same for that. Set it to automatic so every time your PC starts up, you don't have to go and manually do it. Click on start and click apply. OK. Once you're done with this, you can close. I would recommend a restart, but it seemed to work without a restart for me. What you want to do is go to your file explorer and then test if this works. If it works, it should show up at least your own computer hosting on your own network. Mine showing up because I've uh, turned on all the settings required in the network and sharing center and also created a media device. If you want me to create an extended tutorial on how to share an old computer or an old storage onto your network and how you can access those files, please let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you as well. For now, that was it for today's tutorial, guys. Please make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and also help me reach my target 1,000 subscribers. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.